What's up, Grammar Squad? Today I'm going to be coming and showing you how I completed this cute Halloween bunny. So the first thing I'm going to be using is a brown eyeliner. Yes, it said eyeliner. I sometimes use a brown eyeliner to do my brows. I'm going to be doing short strokes um, until I get to the beginning of the brow. I like to do my brows with an arch. Um, I also like to make them dark. It's your preference if you want to use a lighter, um, either a brow pencil or a gel liner. Once that is complete, I'm going to go ahead with a brown eyeshadow. Yes, instead of taking the gel liner all the way up and blending it, to me, it gives me a harsh line. So what I do is just take my eyeshadow and I just blend it in with the gel eyeliner. Moving on to the next brow, I was rushing and I made a little boo-boo. But always be mindful that you're going to go in with that concealer and clean up your brows so you don't really have to stress it. So I'm just going to be cleaning it up and just dragging it down. You can drag it down to your eyelids if you want, but I use my MAC Paint Pot to um, prime my eyeshadow. There my boyfriend is. I, I swear, like, he always, whenever I'm doing a video, he always finds a way to get me distracted. So moving on to the top of my eyebrow. As you can see, is looking, to me, it was just looking, you know, messed up. But like I said, you use that concealer and you just make it your own. You can make your eyebrows thick, 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 thick. But that concealer is always going to cover up the mistakes and the imperfections of the outline that you did on your eyebrow. Once that's complete, as you can see, I'm blending it out. I'm going to also be priming my eyelids with the MAC Paint Pot and going in my Sephora Pro palette. I started off using a light pink color. All the colors I'm going to be using for this eye look is different shades of pink and I might do a hint of red. I don't know if you guys realize what I'm doing. When I apply the product first, I'm going to be patting it in before I blend it. When I'm blending it, I kind of go in a circular motion. Um, just trying to get that product in as much without the fallout. Then I'm going to be going in with the color marshmallow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just putting that under my brow. For this look, I'm going to be doing a cut crease. Um, this cut crease is going to be kind of different because I'm going to carry it out longer in the front. I wanted to give that effect um, as if have a bigger eye and always remember when you're using a concealer to cut your crease always go with a light shade a light shade would make anything pop I'm gonna be dragging this cut crease into a curve at the end mainly because I do not like it to be touching my wing eyeliner Next up, I'm going to be going back in my Huda palette and grabbing that red shade and just defining the cut crease more. I'm going to be applying the glitter primer and the glitter to my eyelids. With this glitter primer, you want to make sure that you do not apply it too thick because it will leave creases. Once the glitter has dried up, I then go ahead and put in the eyeliner. Moving on to the next eye, like I said, you always want to make sure that you pat your eyeshadow in. You never want to go and just drag it. That's going to cause major fallout. That's going to make you waste product. It's going to just make the look so harsh. You don't want any harsh lines. Whenever you're doing your eyeshadow, you do not want any harsh lines. You want it to be gradient and you want it to give it that effect that is fading 
for those of you guys who has never done a full cut crease you can always take your concealer and put it in the middle of your eyelid look up and that will be the perfect guideline you always want to make sure when you're applying the glitter you always want to pat never wipe While applying the Fenty Beauty in color shade 370, I make sure that I don't apply too much because where I live is very humid and I do not like to have patchy makeup. And ladies, always remember, always pat your makeup foundation on. Never wipe. When you wipe, you're losing out on a lot of product that you could just be saving. Going in with my concealer for this look, I don't usually go heavy on my regular makeup but since i was doing something like this i decided let me at least go in on my contouring and highlight so right here you can see me contouring my forehead my cheeks dusting off that setting powder i also brung down the pink to give it like a rabbit nose effect um i just do i just did as i go i mean it's up to you how you want to accomplish this look but i was just having fun with it going in with my highlight and then i'm gonna be doing my nose with my rabbit nose i just used some pink eyeliner So after I'm done with my nose, I'm going to be going in with some highlight to give it some bunny cheeks. Um, ladies, like I said before, this look is just based on being creative. You can add, you can take off, it's what best suits you. After applying the lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and fix up my mouth and add a little bit of whiskers. I'm not sure if you ever seen a rabbit before, but their upper lip, it kind of splits. So I wanted to uh, um, accomplish that effect. So just to enhance the eyes a little bit better, I added some white eyeliner and then added some more pink and clear lip gloss to the bottom lip. So then I'm going to take the white eyeliner again and be applying some hairs, some little white hairs around my mouth, on my chin. And with this look, you can put as many or as less as you want. Ladies, please, please, please invest in one of these eyelash um, applicators. They're the best. They make it so easier. To finish off this look, I then applied some white eyeshadow around my eyes and some pink eyeshadow around my whiskers. Then you know your girl had to go fluff out her hair, right? Once I applied those bunny ears, it was a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Like and subscribe and see you in the next video.